Could these be the ones who planned that attack against me? Damn it. Not a good shot as I thought I was. Hopefully they'll go over there thinking it's something. Oh god. Oh god. Sven! Okay. 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 <sighs> Damn thing's broken. Okay. Let's see. Definitely be taking your arrows. No, no, I don't think I'll be needing any of that. Let's see, did you have anything on you? Mm, lock picks. Not much else. Mm. Oh. Well, what do we have here? Some sort of sacrifice? Hmm. A sword and shield may come in handy. We'll take them. I doubt I'll be using an arrow much in here anyways. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if they had anything interesting around the camp. Some sort of chest. Now, I've never been good at lock picking, but I'll try my luck. Come on, you damn thing. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Damn it! Okay, okay. I can do this. Maybe... Here. No. Here. Here. Damn it all! Unlock! Ugh. There we go, I got it. Okay. Hmm, what do we have here? Some sort of crystal. Uh, copper septums. Hmm, I would take it, but it'd most likely slow me down. Hmm. Not seeing any torches, Sven. And... It's rather dark. Uh, who cares? Let's go. Be on your guard. Ugh. Ah, spiders. Ooh. shouldn't be in here, Sven. We're disturbing an ancient Nord burial ground. Oh god, I don't like the sound of that. You know what they say about these burial grounds, Sven. That our dead walk these halls. Let's just pray that we don't wake them. Seem to be a lot of skeevers everywhere. I uh, don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Some sort of potion. Uh, 
At least these candles and sconces are warming me up. It was quite cold out there. Shh, Sven, Sven. Shh, shh, shh. It appears we have ourselves a friend. What is he... What is he doing? Sven! Sven, stay in here! Hmm. Are there any more of them around? No. Hmm. Well, it seems there's some sort of trap here. Oh my, he had a gold septum on him. Well, I'll certainly be taking that. Now. Let's see what we have here. Uh, some sort of serpent. I do not like those sounds, Sven. Some sort of serpent. What looks to be maybe a horker of some sorts. <clears throat> oh, dusty. And another serpent. Hmm. Well, I'll certainly take that. Dusty in here, isn't it, Sven? You know, Sven, I never noticed your earrings before. Hmm. Excuse me, watch yourself. A serpent. Oh! Wait a minute. Yes, I see now. The serpent's fallen. That must be what these are for. Let's give him a turn, shall we, Sven? A serpent. A second serpent. And a horker. Where are you? Let's hope this doesn't kill us. Well, we seem to be alive. And the gate is open. I'd say that worked out pretty well for us. Hmm. Another... What was that? Careful, Sven! <sighs> Damn skeevers. <sighs> hmm. An ancient Norse coin. Well, I'll certainly take that with me. Yes, yes, I know we shouldn't be looting the damn place, but we're already here disturbing it. We might as well take something back. Some sort of book. The Life of Eslof Grawl. We'll take that to read later. Well, no, you don't have to read it with me. I meant I'll read it. Buffoon. Alright, let's go. Gods, I hope there are no more of those cursed creatures down here. What's this? Oh! Gods! <sighs> By Talos! Sven! Why didn't you warn me that thing was standing there? Ugh. Ugh. Some sort of scroll and a potion. Ugh, God, and I'm starving. Ugh, do I have anything to eat? Uh, of course. Just uncooked venison. Mm. Uh. 
Sven. Should we really be doing this? I mean, I know we're getting paid with, well, I mean, you're not getting paid, but you live in that town. You're just doing this to help with Katarina. But should we really be looting this? <sighs> yes, I know it's a Nord burial ground, and I, we've already been disturbing it. I brought this up already. But should we continue? I mean, it's just a claw. I mean, what do I owe him? Yes, I realize you probably don't want to be here alone. Ah, Damn it all, the torch burnt out. I know you probably don't want to be in here alone, especially without a light now. Yes, yes, I suppose it would probably win her favor. Fine, let's go. Damn torch. <sighs> Come on then, let's go. Shh, Sven. Do you hear that? Was that a man? Ugh. The oh god. Sven. Sven. What are you doing, Sven? Sven, for the love of god! It didn't know we were here! God! Oh, oh, careful, Sven. Shut up! Get me out of here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sven, make sure no more of them come. Well, I... Uh, you! Shut up! Why would I cut you down? I nearly died. And you're probably with those bandits. Where's the claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. The... the door in the hall of stories? What are you talking about, man? Hand over the claw. Does it look like I can move? Well, where is it? Yeah, Fine. Sven... Just keep looking for spiders. Yes, just be careful. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with that? Come here. Come come back here. Come here. Sven, get him. Oh. By Talos. What has he done? Oh, God, Sven, be careful! Ugh. Ugh. Sven! Well, all right then, you seem to be very capable of handling yourself. Maybe I had misjudged you, Sven. Ugh. Gods, it's cold down here. More coins. Uh, no, I shouldn't be disturbing their corpses. That's not right. We've done enough damage in here. He had the claw on him. Hmm. Now what are these markings? Hmm. He had a journal on him. Alright. Uh, 
Let's take a look at this journal and see what we can find. My fingers are trembling. The golden claw is finally in my hands. And with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool Lucan Valerius had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. The, the key? But it's just a claw. Now I just need to get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. Hmm. Could that mean the pictures on the bottom of the claw? Hmm. I suppose I'll find out. <sighs> Should we even bother going deeper into the tombs then? <sighs> I mean, what if we're worthy? Is that a possibility? I suppose you're right. I suppose it is a possibility. Now just mind the traps, would you, please? Ugh. Okay, good. Made it around. He doesn't look dead, does he? Hmm. Come on, let's go. Oh god. Mind yourself, Sven. Careful! Sven, are... By the gods, it's dark. Are you alright, Sven? <sighs> Come on. This is, um... This is going to be quite the trip. We're fine. One just barely nicked me. <sighs> Sven, did you hear a buzzing? Hmm. Are you sure you didn't hear a buzzing? No, that's preposterous. I don't... I'm not hearing things, Sven. We're in a tomb. Who else would be alive? I suppose, okay. Who else would make a buzzing noise other than us two? And no, I doubt Draugr would try to scare us. Talos knows they're scary enough. Yes, Sven, I realize there could be other bandits, but we haven't seen many. I'm going to assume that either they're all dead or the Draugr's killed them all. Now come on, let's go. Hmm. I don't like the look of that. Come on, Sven. Oh, God. Alright. Oh. Don't worry, I'm just dropping them for a while. I just had to quickly swap. Okay. Be mindful in here. Look, there's another one. Okay. 
No oh god. Be careful, Sven. Sven! How are no. Okay. It would appear you're fine. Alright, let's keep going. <sighs> Do be mindful of more traps. Cause man, those swinging axes hurt. Oh god. Well this is not- Sven! Alright. Sven, for the love of God. We're gonna have to get you some armor. Alright. Huh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. You. Still here. I'd like to give you something. I would very much like it if you could put on this. Lead on. At least you have some protection now. Where do we go from here? This appears to be a dead end. Hold on. Where is this water flowing to? Ah, I see. Come on then, Sven. Onwards we go. Come on, don't be shy. Ah, uh, I'll be waiting for you on the other side then. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mine, what do we have here? Some sort of glowing mushrooms. Usually I'm not one for gathering materials, but I'm sure these must be worth something to maybe an alchemist or a wizard, perhaps. My, there are a lot of them, aren't there? <clears throat> Another chest. More scrolls. A potion and some Alessias. Uh, yes. I. <sighs> well, that doesn't look good. You suppose that thing is coming up for us, Sven? Sven, don't just go charging off. Hold on. I have a feeling, and there it is. Sven, for the love of God! <laughs> Be careful! It's like you're trying to get killed. Huh. Did I hear another one? Pray to Talos I didn't. Come on, Sven, let's go. <sighs> Damn it all, it's getting dark. You, Draugr! You've... You've come to meet your fate. Sven... By the gods! Sven! Did you see that? This... 
This creature... It... 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 It could shout! I've got your back. T take its armor. What do you want me to carry? Take its armor. The damned thing could shout, Sven! I've never seen only the dragonborn and specially trained Nords. Well, I suppose it didn't have to be a Nord. But only people with immense training had been able to shout before. Sven, what are we getting ourselves into? <sighs> Come on, let's go. <sighs> Sven, what have we gotten ourselves into? Dust is getting to me. Okay. I, I made it. But damn it all, there's more Draugr. <sighs> okay. Let's just be careful here. All right. By the god, Sven, whatever that creature was wielding. <sighs> My, it was worth it. Do you figure... <sighs> I suppose we might as well just loot them, shouldn't we? <sighs> Let's take what little we can fit into our sacks. And then get going. Here, I'll give you one. What do you want me to carry? <clears throat> Let's see. Take one of these backpacks. Lead on. Come on, let's go. Let's be on our way. <clears throat> uh, you can see the dust in this area. Good God! Sven, that axe of yours. <laughs> My God. Ugh. I must say, I don't know if I'll have you part with that. I may let you keep it. Oh. Right behind you. As well, um. What do you want me to carry? Would you mind if you gave me that other arm, uh, that other armor back? Let's Good. Going, yes, let's. If we see any better armor, please remind me to take it and drop this iron. If it's worth more, we'll take it, but there's no way in hell I'm carrying more than one set of armor. That's just plain ridiculous. Now what? Oh. This must be that Hall of Heroes he was talking about. There doesn't seem to be any hostility here, Sven. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Let's take a look at this once more. A bear, a butterfly, and an owl. You don't think it could be this simple, do you? Not a bear? A bear? 
the moth or butterfly. Oh, God, these are heavy. And an owl. Now, do I just... It would appear that that's all I do, Sven. <sighs> Alright. Apparently there's going to be some sort of test for us here, Sven, so... Do be on your guard. Yo! Oh, damned bats! Infernal creatures. Just uh. Yes. This is quite the sight, I must admit. <clears throat> Come on, let's go. S -s -s Sven. Do you hear that, Sven? I... This wall... I can hear it calling to me. <gasps> I... I feel strangely... powerful. We have not yet faced the trial. Despite what we have just encountered, we must yet be wary. Alright. I suppose this is a good enough time as any. Well, Sven. I must say, you are quite the formidable ally. I'll give you that. Let's see. Another sort of potion. One of those gems. What do we have here? Oh my. Alright. Hmm. Another helmet. This one with horns. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, this... This looks like it may be worth something. I mean, it's only iron, but uh, it's got to be worth something. I'll just quickly attach it to my belt. Lock picks, another scroll, hmm, some silver Alessias, a staff. This must be worth something to someone. Hmm, I don't exactly have much room. I'll have to leave that out. <sighs> All right. Everything should be all attached, hopefully. Now let's see, what did you have on you? Hmm. It seems you had a sword. Sven, I'm going to get you to take this with you. Huh. Now this looks quite important. This must be worth a fortune. Come on, Sven. Still here. I have room for that stone. But I'm afraid not much room for this sword. You're going to have to take that. As well, you know what? I might as well give you the bow. I might as well give you the crossbow. I see no reason not to. Let's get going then. Yes, let's. Uh, I'm feeling quite over encumbered with 
The amount of equipment I'm hauling around. <sighs> no general store in Riverwood is going to be able to compensate me for all of these trinkets. <sighs> now, where does this lead? It's just a stone wall. A secret passage? Well, <laughs> who would have thought? Come on, Sven. Then again, be on your guard. We may not be out of the woods yet. Huh. Yet another chest. Uh, I'll have to shove this in beside the dragon stone. What do you mean? What do you mean why I call it a dragon stone? It has a picture of a dragon on it. Was that you or did you hear something? Hmm. Come on then. Let's be on our way. Smell that, Sven. <laughs> ah. Fresh air. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we made it out. <laughs> ah. Now. <laughs> ah. Let's check my map and try and estimate where we came out. Huh. Alright. We must have gone downriver, away from Riverwood. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Sven. Let's go. Uh... Mindful of your step, would you? <laughs> Careful not to break anything, friend. No. Uh. Are are you taking another route? <laughs> All right, friend. Uh. Well, I must say I'll just be happy to get back to Riverwood. It's not every day you can say you just went exploring through a Nordic ruin, disturbed the restless Draugr that lay there, and came out alive. <laughs> oh, I, and I even got Lucan's claw back. I found some sort of Dragon stone, as I've come to call it. Must be worth a fortune to someone. Uh, uh. Sven. Don't. Move. Just back up. Slowly. Yes, it looks like a tree, but do you not see it moving? Come. Now, we must avoid it. I don't know what in the name of Talos that is, but there is no chance in oblivion that we will try our hand at fighting that creature. Look at it. Quickly, let's go. I will not have our journey come this far simply to end by some magical creature destroying us. That is not how I will have this happen. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Bit
bit of danger avoided there, which I must say I'm quite happy about. <laughs> uh. Oh, gods! What now? What? Come here! Stupid! I'm a Nord! The cold does not affect me! Come here! Stupid woman. Where is that other foul man? I bloody my sword with their tainted blood. Necromancers! Wandering around at night. He turned to nothing but ash. Ugh. <sighs> Come on. Let's go. We needn't have to deal with them any longer. Come on, Sven, down the hell we get. <clears throat> oh, my throat's become rather dry, and if I don't get some bloody food soon, I'm going to keel over and die. <laughs> now it would seem I'm becoming delirious as I rhyme my words. <laughs> One might think I'm in a play. Uh, but even a play has never had such an outcome as to traverse a Nordic ruin completely unharmed, well, with a few minor cuts and scrapes. But I will not spend my time licking my wounds. Rather, I think I'll need to take take a bit of time to think over what that wall was. And why on earth that I could hear it talking to me. But first, to Lucan. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem alright. <laughs> That's... Quite the contradictory statement, my dear. Lucan is going to be very pleased. Lucan, my good man. I, I think I'll have. I have a. Find the claw. The sooner our lives can get back to normal. Yes, about that. I think I have a rather pleasant surprise for you. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Yes, I've got the claw, friend. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> thing, <huh>? <laughs> yes, <laughs> quite funny. Don't try and cheat me, Luke. thing for me and my sister. Well, in all honesty, I was hoping I'd be able to find out so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. I'm... Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. <laughs> I'm sure Sven... It's a fine day with you around. Yes, and... <sighs> Only people around who aren't complete. Sven, let's go. You can talk to her later. Not from around here. That makes two of us. You're new around here. I'll go easy on you, but don't get on my bad side. <laughs> All right. I came here from the Imperial. Prison. I'll try not to my do that. Ran. Yes, Camilla. Camilla. Is your name's not Camilla, is it? Uh, my, the town is quite chatty this afternoon. Well, at least what I hope is this afternoon. God, I need some peace and quiet. Uh, more food, I suppose, actually. Uh, 
All right. Ah, oh, damn it all! I can't even remember the innkeeper's name. You're that visitor been poking around. What was your name again? We got rooms and food, drink too. Orgnar, that's what it was. <laughs> all right, now let's see what we have to eat here. I'm afraid I'll be buying quite a bit of it. A venison shop. Some cooked beef. And a cheese wedge. Hmm. Why not? We'll take some tea as well. <laughs> next time. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Alright. Come on, Sven. Let's sit down and have a meal. Ugh. Uh. All right, let's get something to drink first of all. Uh. By the divine, that is delicious. Ugh. Let's have a bit of the food now. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. I have to say that was some brilliantly cooked food come on Sven let's get going after all we do have quite a far trip now. We'll be heading to Whiterun. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for hopefully watching till the end of episode 2. Episode 2. Thank you for hopefully watching till the end of Tales from Tamriel. Ragnar Algren, episode 2. And he is still a hungry, hungry hippo. <laughs> Now, uh, there's probably going to be a few things you guys notice in here. One, there are quite a few cuts. Now, the first couple cuts is just real life was calling. I had some, um, they weren't emergencies, but I had some things to deal with, and I could not push, or I could not push them off until later. They had to be dealt with immediately. Second of all, um, about a quarter or so way through the video, you're going to notice that I've start that my frame rate. Uh, sort of dropping after every loading screen. Uh, normally, I um, I record at a pretty decent frame rate, but as for some reason, loading screens kept dropping it down to 10 frames. So I had to just quickly uh, stop recording and start again, and that fixed the issue. Hopefully, it wasn't too noticeable. If it is, guys, I'm sorry. I hopefully will have it figured out for next episode. Um. And yeah, I just hope it's not too noticeable. Uh, what, there was one more thing. Oh, last episode. Occasionally, you guys, uh, as you know, I cut out loading screens for you guys so it looks more seamless when I'm going through doors. Hopefully what you guys will, or not hopefully, hopefully you don't notice this, but what some of you might notice is in last episode and most likely future episodes to come, uh, there was an awkward cut outside Ragnar's house where it went from him just exiting the house and then sort of a jump skip all the way to him on a path on his way to Riverwood. Now what happened was I think one of my mods conflicted and I was trying to get on the carriage outside of Ragnar's house and it just wouldn't go. It just kept taking Ragnar's septums but wouldn't actually go anywhere. So if you ever see awkward cuts that don't look like they're supposed to be there or they're badly done, it's because a mod stopped working or something is broke. And I just had to make do with what I could and try and fix it. And finally, uh, you guys, I this episode was kind of a test. I went through the Bleak Falls Barrel and it was pretty dark for even me. Now for me, I like that because personally, 
uh, the, um, not ENB, but the mods I have for lighting, which I think is part of Climates of Tamriel, which I think is part of the Climates of Tamriel mod. The lighting I have makes it super atmospheric, but um, for YouTube, it's probably going to be even darker. Now, what I want you guys to do is in the comments, uh, let me know if you guys want it to stay atmospheric and you want, like, if I can't see anything, you guys can't see anything. And just to keep that atmosphere about it, because Ragnar's blind, obviously you guys are going to be blind. But I realize the majority of you are probably going to want to see just in case anything happens to him. So I did up the brightness a little bit. Oh, the mace is showing up. If you look, if you look down here, the mace is showing up. Uh, equipped on him. Oh, not finally. Sorry, guys. There's one more thing. Uh, in this video, you guys are probably going to notice about halfway through Bleak Falls Barrow, Ragnar was switching between his sword and shield and his longbow, and instead of just equipping them, the items just fell to the floor. If we go in here, this is part of Equipping Overhaul. And Equipping Overhaul is the mod that lets me do this. Have a sword a bow. That's what it is. The thing that's dropping my frames as I edited the mod. Okay, well you guys are just gonna have to... just one moment. Okay, we're back. So it seems that editing mods mid-recording is what's dropping the frames. Okay, so there we go. Problem fixed. But yeah, equipping overhaul guys, guys is what allows me to do this. Have a longbow, a sword, a staff, a mace down there, uh, my quiver equipped, all that. It's what allows me to have multiple things equipped so that, you know, you don't fit a staff taller than your character inside a backpack. Um, and part of this mod... Oh, okay, you know what? I'm not going to go into it. Part of the mod is there's um, a section called Realistic Unequip. Now, if I wasn't recording this, I would have that on. But what it does is if Ragnar takes out his weapons here... Like, say, he's using what he's using right now. And if I were to just hit number one and switch to my bow, he would just drop the items. Because, let's say, it's trying to make it realistic. Hence the name Realistic Unequip. If you were in real life, you're not just going to, poof, have the weapons in your hands disappear back into their sheaths. If you need to switch for something quickly in battle, you're going to drop what you're carrying and grab it. Now, I realize some would say you just quickly sheath your weapons and grab it, but that's just how the mod works. I didn't realize I had it turned on. I thought I had it turned off, but now I have it off. So I'm not going to be using it because, honestly, it's just for convenience. It's kind of a nuisance to be picking up your weapons every time you switch them without sheathing them first. Um, yeah, I think that was it. This isn't a mod talk, guys. This is just kind of a things you might have noticed that seem awkward. And I think that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 of Tales of Tamriel, and I hope to see you all next episode. Will Ragnar make it to Whiterun? Probably. It's a pretty good chance. But maybe he won't. Stay tuned to find out.